will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. You bow your heads for me real quick. Father God, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being in this place and meeting us here. When we walk through those doors, we just ask that you have your way, Holy Spirit, to preach here and flow and move, that you may exhort and deliver someone, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. So, check this out. The first person said, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. So let me ask you, where is your level of commitment to the Lord? I will follow thee wherever thou goest. Now the Lord broke this down to him. Okay, but check this out. Because what he really telling them is like, I'm about doing the Father's will. So we ain't got time to be messing around me. I ain't got no place to say, man, I'm about the Father's will. You see, I'm so you have to be ready to deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. Because we're going to be about the Father's business. We ain't going to be laying down. You know, the fox had a hose where it had. We about this movement. The Lord is moving. He's trying to take us with us. So here comes another one. Now to this one, he told, follow me. He said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Now this seems like that's the legit, the right? This, that ain't nothing to bury my father. Dude. Lord said, let the dead bury their dead. It's like, where's your level of commitment? You see, everything is right in the eyes of man, right? So get this. Now you're talking to the resurrection and the life. See, right. the Lord is the Lord of the living and the dead. So he, he, you blessed all the way around by obedience. If you just go and activate the faith and do what he told you to do, you don't even know what situation is going to work out over there. But you got to move it out of the way because there's no time for excuses in the kingdom of God. I'm talking about the kingdom though. If you don't want to be in the kingdom, you can make all the excuses in the world. But he, he like let you know he ain't going for it. It is in the kingdom though. This is in the kingdom. So he said to another, another one said, I'll follow thee, but first, let me go tell them bye at my house. <laughs> no excuses in the kingdom. Just execution. The kingdom is about doing it. It, it, it's about living. It's about performing. It ain't about gathering. Yeah. It ain't about pretending. Yeah. It ain't about acting. Yeah. It's about the power. It's righteousness. It's all joy in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. See, it's the kingdom right here. It ain't no excuses. So, you know, you got to put aside all the flesh, the emotions, all that stuff involved. Because the natural mind, the natural man can't receive the things of the kingdom. So, and God is wise. See, he, he tested you. And we have to understand, and this took me back to Genesis, the devil is after our faith and our obedience to the Lord. Those are the two easiest things he's going to try to get us. Forget all that other stuff. See, he know. see, these two things is messing with our, our relationship with the Lord. Right off. Because there ain't no way around it. You can't please him without faith. And this obedience is going to separate you from him. So if the devil get to tricking you off to doubt God, and every time in the word the Lord is telling us to pray and to ask for something, no doubt, there's no room for doubt. So the devil is coming to steal to get us to be disobedient and to rob us of our faith so we can start questioning God. And God is what? He is not man that he should lie. So here you go listening to this fool to get you to question God like he lying about something. And he's the main one that's the father of the lie. That's how subtle he is. You don't listen to this fool and he's the father of the lie to get you to question God who all powerful. And I say it out loud. But that's why you gotta be watching me. That's it. You know what I mean? We only draw in the way of our own lust. God can't tempt us to evil. So every day we've got to create me a clean heart. Right. We draw the way of our own lust. Yes. And the only way the devil can really trick us off is by our habits and by that mouth. Yeah. Yeah. The prince of the power of the air yeah. by running the old mouth. Yeah. The wrong way. That's how he can trip us up. Yeah. All the time. Life and death. Power to the mouth. Kick away and trip you up. You wonder how he was 
there already and came around the corner. Yeah. Following our patterns of our lust and our eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for that blood. Ooh, we Jesus. No excuses in the kingdom. There, you have to understand that it's always going to be some blessings involved for obedience. Always. Pick that cross up. First of all, deny yourself. Because this, this is the problem when the Lord is talking to them right away. They ain't denying themselves. They thinking about what they have to go and do. Deny yourself, pick up your cross, and get out of your way. That's what we, we got. Our, we do that all the time. We stand in our own way. We got to get out of our way. We can't decide what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. We can only do what the Lord says. See what these people did here? So, let me help you out. Even what I said, it seems legitimate. He's going to bury his father. Only thing that matters is what God says. We can't come up with nothing else different. You can't even make up a project on your own to do something. You, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How can you hear without a preacher? Because see, so this is God's plan. He set it up. You can't hear without a preacher. So therefore, your faith ain't going to be built up if you're not hearing the word that he sends to his preacher. The spirit and the word is connected. And the spirit is always relevant. The spirit is in heaven and the spirit is here. The preach word is tailor made for us. So we can't ignore the preach word and then get a whole time to get my Bible out and read my Bible and come up with me a project to do on my own while ignoring the preach word and think that we're going to be blessed. That's not how it's going to work. You can only understand so much. You got to hear by the preacher. You got to receive that word, that preached and grafted word to save your soul. You can't go off. I'm going to pick up this project. If the Lord said, follow me. Uh, I'm going to tell everybody at my house, bye. No! <laughs> Faith coming by hearing. Right. Hearing by the word of God. Well, it's only what God says. And God will never overlook his word that he has sent for us right. to for us to compromise. Yeah. He won't do it. He will not do it. Now we might do it. He ain't gonna do it. And you gotta be be careful because and I've been in this place in my life to where like you can be doing something that's wrong and you know it's wrong, but you you in a comfort zone of doing it so long. I read something, it's like people get trapped in something. Something because they, they're so familiar with it. Yeah. Even with like adversity or pain, you have to be careful. You can become addicted so, to so many different things because you're familiar with it and you're comfortable with it. But you you can think that you could be doing something wrong and the Lord quit chastising you about it and you think that it's all, oh, it's all good, it must be all good. No, he said what he had to say a few times. He gave you a grace period to straighten it up and now be done with it. So don't fool yourself and think that, oh, it's all good now. I ain't, it ain't coming no more. I ain't getting in trouble. No, you really in trouble now. You want it, the correction to keep coming. You want the word to keep coming to get, all right, hey, I like it. Let's get it together. Let's get it. You want that. Because if it, and I've been there where I'm done. It's like, that's the place you don't want to be right there. It's always going to be a separation for disobedience. You know what I mean? It's, it's a level of separation. You know what I mean? But that communion and fellowship is powerful. But you lose a level of promises and blessings when we're disobedient. I mean, you know what I mean? We still blessed, but we lose that fruit bearing seed. And you don't want to lose that like they lost in the garden in the beginning. So we have to be on board, throw all the excuses out. The Spirit is always relevant for us saints. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah. And the Lord is that spirit. Right. It ain't no rest for us outside of Jesus. Right. None. And in doing his will. There ain't no rest outside of you. You'll never find rest running and not doing what the Lord say. That's why you get most frustrated because you know I should be lined up doing what he said. And I'm looking and searching for rest and peace and you don't find it because it ain't found outside of Jesus and doing God's will. We got to move in that place. Lord, send me. That's it. 
forsaken everything else, Lord, send me. The word says faith without works is dead. So it's the same as if you think about it. Hearing without doing is dead. Faith without obedience is dead. See, we hold on to things because of comfort and because of fear. But the Lord has not given us that spirit of fear. Power, love, and sound mind. I'm praying, Lord, we want to operate in the kingdom because we want to use the keys of binding and loosing. That's the keys that we need to be operating. 